And you saw not any effort to get there. I didn't use force. So tonight in Clears Intermediate Tai Chi, we really covered uh, parts from class number two for the test that have to do with moving your partner without using force. You, and the idea of move their energy, um, do not make it a shoving match. And the first point to that is that when you're pushing with somebody, however you're pushing with somebody, it, pushing does not always mean forward and in there like a bull. It can mean any direction, almost in 360, that they're willing to go. Ideally, you putting as little force to that as you can to the point that, like for right now, he doesn't want to give me a lot of force coming that way, so that's the direction, right? And so I'm feeling that on him. And if he was pushing in, for instance, well, then I know he wants to come forward, right? And that's the idea. So. We're using very little force. Same thing no matter what method you're using. Uh, so let's say we're on body body. It's not grr, grr, go ahead and push in there. Right, so he's trying to kind of shove into there a little bit. But what way does he really want to come? Well, he kind of wants to come this way. All right. This kind of an idea. Uh, with that, we did it where you go and you find your partner's root. And you use that to catch him. Uh, you find your partner's center and where they're really at in there in terms of center and use that to catch them. Capture their center of balance inside of them, which is for most people, if you stand on one leg, you'll see that it's moving and find that center of balance and then really drive that balance. And the trick to it is, is that if you just try to grab it and go, go ahead and move me, they'll be able to do stuff and catch you. And so you really have to be very sensitive and get in there and feel it. And then once you're there, like that, you find it. And you saw not any effort to get there. I didn't use force. You didn't see me going grr, right? And he's giving me some pretty good resistance in working, which is what I prefer to see. When I see the ones and they're flying everywhere and it's a younger guy and they're looking like Superman and whoever they're pushing is flying around, then either they're not teaching anybody or something's, or everybody's just cooperating too much. So you'll see in mine that you don't get a lot of that. When I catch them, sometimes it can have that magical look for sure. But typically, you're going to be able to tell that I had to work a little bit, especially with my own guys. I have to work to catch them. If you're not one of my guys and you haven't had the training for it, well, then it's easy to catch you, sure, compared to other people anyways that are trained. Yeah, you've got that, so just push it back to me. Yeah. Not that. Then following in the lead, them into emptiness, and first with that method, and so then literally I'll follow the whole time until he gives me something that's empty enough about him or somewhere he wants to go that I'm not having to put any kind of force to that, he's giving it to me. All right, same thing with um, Clear's internal style. I really want to find out where he wants to go. He wants to go up. And he didn't, and he changed his mind. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to go back. First he wanted to go in and then he went, no, I don't want to go. I want to go the other way. Okay, competition style, same ideas. And they're there, but he didn't want to come there all the way, right? So if I kept forcing that, I'm trying to go somewhere where it's not really empty for him. Where's the emptiness now? It started there, but it changed direction a little bit.
right? And you see this much of a tug, if you were. So in, back, nope. In, down, yep. That was up at the end of it. tell I'm not putting a lot of grr into it. And even if he puts a lot of grr into me, where does he want to go, right? This way? All right. And you help him out. OK. Uh, and we showed some other games and stuff to make this easier and better and that kind of a thing. For that, please go to clearmartialarts.com and sign up. And you can do the trial for $5 for two weeks. And then, of course, we've got the regular program. Um, and we'll be showing more tricks and things and of course the whole curriculum on how to do this stuff. So um, last but not least tonight we did some Tai Chi walking and to make sure that you're not double weighted and there's a lot of different little nuances you could be doing. The one that's important for us is to sink a little bit to begin with. When you come up, don't just come easy across the floor, come up a little bit more. Step out, heel. Do not rock forward. If you come here and you try to pick up either leg, you probably can't pick up either one. That is double weighted. So how do I do this transition? I sink to set it down. And now I can pick up either foot. Now, not if I'm too long. If I had done this, can't. It really does have to be sink up, down. And I'll do it this way so you can see. Sink up where does it fall to I sink to set it down so I'm only coming down like an inch or two but if you're not used to it you'll feel it right and then across this way the same thing here this way sink to set it down To go back, toe, I sink to set it down. So now I can pick up either foot easily, right? And then I shift like that. And again, there are more details about that in our, uh, on our online program. Thanks for watching. Um, look forward to keep up the great practice, and we'll do more next time.